Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you could join me today. I have something to show you that's a handmade gift, part of the handmade Christmas challenge that I'm doing this year. And I know some of you are joining me. But it's not really handmade so much as repurposing things I already have. And that is a part of the challenge to repurpose the things that we already have to pass them on. Because while they're sitting doing nothing in our homes, they're taking up space and they're a waste of money. We don't want to waste our money. We want to use it for the best value we possibly can. And one of those ways is to turn those things into gifts. Today, I'm going to show you from my Make It, Bake It, Grow It, Sew It book card kit in a box now don't take any notice of the box at the moment that's not what we're talking about we're talking about what's in the box in the box is a little card kit now kits are really big business at the moment if you were around at christmas time you'll have seen them everywhere and for all sorts of things and they're rather expensive. I've seen them anywhere from, you know, the eight, ten, twelve dollar mark up to I saw one yesterday for card making for forty seven dollars. And it only made six cards. Forty seven dollars, guys. That's a lot of money for some bits and bobs to make cards. Now if you have a paper crafter on your gift list and you're looking for a budget friendly gift or like me you're having a handmade christmas then this is the gift idea for you using this idea you will give beautiful gifts beautiful gifts that haven't cost you a cent out of pocket especially especially if you live by the motto she who dies with the biggest craft stash wins and you've got a huge stash of paper and cardstock and other craft supplies that you know you're never going to use now as you've already bought the materials for these gifts you're saving by not buying a gift and you are going to feel so so good when that craft stash has been sorted out and not only sorted out but used productively if you have friends and family that are crafters, they are going to love this gift. I can tell you a card making kit in a box is easy to put together from the things that you already have in your stash. So I'm going to run through what I've gathered here and tell you how I put each thing together. I'm going to tip everything out. There we go. And we'll put the box aside for the moment. Out come the envelopes. One got stuck in the bottom. There we go. Okay. So obviously cards and envelopes. Now, you know me. I don't mind making card bases, but when you make a card base, you have to make an envelope or buy an envelope. I actually don't mind making envelopes either, and I will show you how to do that in another video because they're really super simple. But these cards and envelopes come from Kmart they're a standard uh, C6 I think that's the right size C6 size so they go for regular postage and the card and envelope you get 25 for $3.25 so that's not too bad a value works out to about 12 cents a pair so 12 cents per card and envelope that's when you consider that even at the $2 shop, at the minimum $2, that's not a bad deal. Now, in this kit, I put four, one, two, three, four, yep, four cards and four envelopes because there's no point in having a card kit without cards and envelopes. Then I decided to go through my stash. I had a, have a person in mind, so I went through my stash thinking about what this person likes and their colours that they like, the things that they do do so on and i pulled out some colored card now this is um, stampin up cardstock that is from my stash 
and I really like it. I love Stampin' Up! cardstock. It's so nice. So we've got, um, for anyone that's interested in Stampin' Up! Bermuda, Bermuda Bay, uh, Coral, Daffodil Delight, Petal Pink. What is that coral name? It escapes me, but I will think of it. So I just cut four mats. Now what I did was cut them slightly smaller than the front of the card. So can you see there's just a little white border around the front of the card if this is stuck down as a mat? It doesn't have to be. It's entirely up to whoever gets the card kit. Then I chose some papers. Now the beauty of Stampin' Up! paper, because again, this is Stampin' Up! paper and it's no longer available, it's an older paper, is the colours in their designer series papers coordinate with the colours in their cardstock. So see how pretty you've got petal pink, um, coral again, gorgeous colours, gorgeous, gorgeous colours, and they're double-sided. So they can be used either or. These I also cut the same size as the mat. Because they can be laid straight onto a card like so. With a pretty border. It will be flipped over. The seagulls. That makes a really nice masculine card. Perhaps seagulls. This one's got birds on it. How cute is that? You turn it over and you've got the stripes. And with the stripes you can have it going um, portrait or landscape. That's the thing to watch. If you've got a directional pattern on your paper, watch how you cut it. This one, they all have a direction. So I had to watch how I cut them, but that's okay. This one's cute with the bird cages. I quite like that. And this one is just gorgeous. And look at this. If you put this on this, doesn't that look pretty? Imagine that. That's so pretty. So just four pieces, one for each card. Now, whoever gets them can use them as is, or they can cut them in half. They can cut them into triangles. They can cut circles out of them, whatever they like. It's up to them because this is going to get their creativity flowing. And just because I put the scraps, the scraps, the trimmings off the um, pieces of DSP in and these smaller ones are all I put in too. Now these are great for, I often do this and stick them inside the card as a, yeah, just a little embellishment on the inside because otherwise it's plain white card and it looks a bit, a bit bleh. All right. Or, where's the envelopes? across the envelope like so depends on how you want to do it you could go across the bottom there all sorts of ways because I like to decorate the envelopes too um, that's your papers your cards and mats uh, your designer series paper and your mats then to make it pretty I had to think about it and I went through my ribbons and laces and I pulled out some lace and some uh, grey toned ribbon that does coordinate and quite nicely with the greys in this paper. It looks quite, quite good together. This is a bit of um, grey grain river, ribbon and then some pretty petal pink satin ribbon. And just put them onto one of my um, bobbins that I make. Pin them in the back. Little hint though, when you are pinning them, if you put the pin in to the opposite direction to the end of the ribbon, it holds it down better. Okay, so that goes in. Then I was going through and I thought, we've got ribbon, we need some linen threads. So I had these. Now these gorgeous colours actually look like Stampin' Up! colours but they're not. They're from Kmart. Come in a box 
of, let me just get the box and check for you. I think it's um, six. Six rolls in a box. These were the four colours that coordinated with the cardstock and colours in the DSP. So I threw those in. And then just because everybody likes a little bling and sparkle, I had this baker's twine and it's got this silver thread through it. So I thought I'd put some of that in too, just because I could. Now, the other thing I did was throw them all over the table, all over the desk. I don't waste or I try to not waste anything in crafting. And when I have a little tiny bit of um, cardstock or something left before it goes in the bin I try to punch something out of it so I have a jar of these little flowers just a little just a little jar like so those little spice jars and when I'm finished with the cardstock if there's just a scrap I try to punch a flower out of it these are great for all sorts of things but they make pretty embellishments and the colors in here will coordinate with the colors in the paper so presentation is everything we could all just we could just bundle all this up and whack it in a bag and hand it over but presentation is everything so I've cut little squares of cardboard to back and slip them into little cellophane bags. Now I had these little cellophane bags. Two dollar shop. You can get them at Office Works. You can get them at craft shops. You can get them at other office supply stores. Two dollar shop. Um, or you can get them online. Two dollar shop. I just get them from the two dollar shop. I used to be able to get them. We used to have a store not too far away. It was party supplies and they had a good range of the um, cellophane bags, but they closed. So now $2 shop, guys. So I had these in my stash. So I've punched out some papers. I haven't closed it yet, but it's as simple as pulling that off and folding it down and it's sealed. Then bling, because who doesn't like bling? So I did the same thing. I went through my box of bling, chose some colours that will go with um, the papers and cut a few strips. And again, just presentation, a little square of the Daffodil Delight cardstock in the bag, pull the top off, fold it down and it's ready to go. No card is complete without um, a sent, excuse me, a sentiment of some kind. So I have these again, not wanting to waste anything. When I have white card stock in just little narrow strips, I try to stamp, stamp it. So these all just say happy birthday, and then I cut them down, and just they've just got little angled corners. Flag the end of that one into the little bag they go. Give them a bit of a shush around, pull it off, and they go. Again, it's just not wasting. And also, when I'm making a card, if I've already got these pre stamped, I can just reach into the jar and pull one out. Then to finish it off, we have some of these. Now I've cut some ovals and left them blank. And I did them in white. I thought whoever gets the card kit might have stamps that say happy birthday, thank you, get well, congratulations or whatever. And so there's those. And I cut the little oval mats to go behind them. Can you see that? How cute is that? That's so cute. I haven't stuck them down and I haven't stamped them yet because I could, but whoever's getting it, if they're a crafter, will have a stamp. 
or they might be able to handwrite. They do calligraphy or have nice handwriting. I don't. They could do that. And again, just fold it down. Now, last but not least, um, some pop dots, just some dimensionals. These are little um, pop dots that go on the back of something just to give it a bit of dimension on the card. That's it. That's what I'm putting in this card kit. So into the box goes envelopes and cards, obviously. Pop dots next, because they're not really interesting. Mats and DSP. Then I had, oops, another piece of DSP. The strips, like so. So just, yeah, just pop them in. Then I put in the spool of um, the bobbin of laces and then the four colours up the top there like so. And just lay in those. Close your box and there's your gift done. Card kit in a box. It didn't cost $47. It didn't even cost $8. Even with the box, it didn't. Now, you don't have to put it in a box. If you don't like making boxes or you don't have one, you don't have to put it in a box. Use a bag. Use a big cellophane bag make a cellophane bag you can use a gift bag that you already have you could use a brown paper bag and just decorate that the ones i gave uh before christmas were in brown boxes like this and all i did was wrap them with some burlap tab it at the back so it joins stuck it at the back to join it i had a um Merry Christmas banner across it. I poke some greenery into it for Christmas. But if you're doing it for a birthday, you can use lace. Cream lace would look pretty on this. Green lace would look pretty on this. Black lace would look pretty on this. Or ribbon. Um, plaid ribbon would look pretty on this. Tartan, buffalo check, whatever. You can leave it plain. You can just do a card topper and put on it to decorate the box. Or you can leave it plain. It's entirely up to you. But that's it. The card kit in a box. Like I said, if you have someone on your list who enjoys crafting, who really, really likes to make things, then card kit in a box is a really good idea. Especially when it's going to use down your stash and save your gift budget. It is so, so easy. That's it. I made a lot of them for Christmas last year. I'll be making more of them to put in my um, present box this year just because I can and because they're nice gifts. Alternatively, you can go right ahead and make the cards and just give the cards in a box if you want to. But that's another video for another day and maybe we'll talk about that when we do make the boxes because the boxes are so so simple to make but presentation really is everything and it is so much nicer to present it nicely like that all nice in there and how exciting if you gave that to someone and everything is in the kit that they need if you have them and you don't use them you can put some little ink spots in there the little square ink pads and maybe some stamps from your stash that you don't use. A little stamp block. And it really is a complete card kit in a box. Okay, that's it. How easy is that? Simple, simple, simple. Really, really pretty and so, so effective. Best part is you only need little bits of anything. So you're not using... You know, you don't have to use whole sheets or whole pads of paper or bling or ribbon or lace or whatever. Use the little bits that you have 
that you've been hoarding, I was going to say saving, but we really hoard them if we don't use them because you don't want to waste them. Don't waste them. Turn them into card kits. Save yourself $47. Give something that is really, really, really exciting and fun and useful because that's what we all want these days. Fun, exciting, useful gifts, I think. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're not subscribed to our channel, I would absolutely love it if you could click that subscribe button and then if you click the little bell next to it and choose how often you'd like to be notified of videos on our channel, that would be a wonderful thing too. I'll be back soon with another crafting video for you.